To begin our discussion on focus groups, one of the qualitative research approaches, let's talk about what a focus group is, uh, and then we'll get into the nitty gritty of how to design um, and actually implement a focus group. So most of the qualitative research that is done in marketing research, so we're collecting information about customers and product design, um, is going to be in the term of focus groups. Uh, as we talked about in our previous video, if your field is something else in terms of psychology or social sciences, then you might be doing other forms of qualitative research. Perhaps you're doing uh, in-depth interviews and those interviews may take on different subsets. So you might be doing, for example, photo voice where we have uh, pictures that the participant is taking or providing and then explaining in the interview. Uh, perhaps we are doing some projective tests where uh, the person being interviewed is explaining things about somebody else. So to, to protect themselves and not have to answer questions that may highly, may be of a highly sensitive nature um, or might be triggering. If you have to talk about your personal experiences, that might be quite traumatic. With projective tests, we can uh, project them onto others. And so you your discipline might be more interviews and projective tests. And we'll talk about those in a couple videos from now. But let's start with focus groups. So focus groups, one of the um, uh, most popular in marketing research, we use it for information on consumer goods. So here we are finding out about uh, products that the end user uses. So we might be asking you about a truck or we might be asking you um, about cereal and billions of dollars are spent each year on focus groups. So what is a focus group? Let's define that, figure out where I put my pencil. All right, so we talk about a focus group where you're talking about a group of eight to 12 participants. And they are led by a moderator. And in an in-depth discussion on a particular topic or concept. So we might be asking about how people feel about a product, how they might be feeling about an ad, uh, how they perceive an organization or an idea. Um, we might use them in terms of gathering information, like we think focus groups are used to test out, to kind of get feedback on like a new TV show, uh, its pilot, or a new product, or showing an ad to the group and then getting their feedback on it. So for example, I'm a cursor here. All right, so let's try like this one here. Uh, so this is an example of a focus group. This individual is showing an ad and then getting their feedback. And you can see in this that people are sitting around a, um, a table to discuss, you the little cards so they know who each other are. And then as we look at this video, what happens is they brainstorm things and the moderator writes them on that giant piece of paper there and then asks if there's general consensus, do they all feel the same way? And they probe to get additional information. So the benefit of a focus group is that it's going to stimulate conversation among the group. They feed off of each other. So the moderator is going to ask a question, but that leads someone to make one comment and then somebody else feeds off that comment. So we get this spontaneous discussion that creates that much richer base of information. And so our focus groups are used to uh, generate ideas, to brainstorm. They're part of that exploratory um, data analysis. So we're going to generate ideas. How might we um, grow the company? bring a small group of people who work at the company together and get them to brainstorm. That's a focus group. We can use it to understand consumer vocabulary. We talked a moment ago about having um, the customers describe the different features of a vehicle and you can then use that in a survey to see if everyone else feels the same. You can use that in your advertising to then sell products, sell the vehicles. 
We can use it to reveal consumer needs, their motives, their perceptions and attitudes about products or services. I will show you when we get to some discussion guides, uh, a focus group that, that I helped build and it was looking at students in our Bachelor of Business Administration program, were their needs being met? How were they perceiving the new program? Uh, what could be done to improve it? So here we're revealing those consumer needs, uh, their perceptions about, in this case, uh, a, a four-year degree. And we talked before about how focus groups can be used uh, to help um, inform quantitative um, research, so help build studies, we can use focus groups to help design those survey questions to see if everyone else agrees. So the purpose with a focus group is not to infer, it is to, to, to determine if what people are saying, you know, is reflective of the greater population, that's the quantitative research. The purpose of, of qualitative, of focus groups is to understand, to get to the heart of things, and so the real benefit is the ability to probe and get deeper, richer information uh, because conversations are happening around you and then you are able to ask further questions to get them to focus on particular aspects or dig deeper in those conversations. The objectives, okay, we did that. So what we're gonna do in our um, next video is we are going to work through the process of setting up a focus group from selecting a location and recruiting participants to selecting a moderator and creating a discussion guide. That is what questions are asked. What's the format for the actual focus group? Then how do you conduct that focus group? And then how do you analyze and report your findings? So in our next videos, we're gonna be working through how would you actually go about setting up and having a focus group?